this time um, at a different place. We're in Derbyshire to be precise, Springwood Fisheries, which is on the uh, borders to Derbyshire and Leicestershire. And Melbourne is just down the road, and we're quite close to Staunton Harold as well. Uh, this is the first for us, we've not been here before. So I'll just give you a little tour around, show you what. It's quite a smart little site, this is. Yeah. We're surrounded by woodland and trees, which is quite nice. Very nice, in fact. Yes, I do like it here. Um, the reason why it's called Springwood Fisheries is because you can get yourself a rod and fishing tickets and things and go fishing. Which are over the lakes, over, over that way. Uh, which uh, I'm not into fishing, so that's me out. Uh, first of all, uh, we usually have our dog with us, the Yorkshire Terrier, I don't know whether you've seen uh, on the previous camp videos, called Mitzi, our camping companion. Um, it's sad to say that she, um, she had to be put to sleep because she developed a cancer mass. I shan't go too much into that. So we've lost our camping companion. So we're going to dedicate this campsite to our little Mitzi. I'll show you a picture of her right here. So, so yeah, so that's um, Mitzi, poor little girl. Um, yeah, she was part of the family, part of our camping family. We loved her. Uh, she went practically everywhere we went, and um, we took her from lots of walks. And she was a great companion to have around. So I'm dedicating this camp to little old Mitzi. Where would she be? She was fudge. Uh, a month prior to that, we lost our largest dog as well, uh, Fudge. So uh, we, we hope that they're together now um, in doggy heaven or wherever that may be. Sorry to get sentimental, but uh, we like it. She, she, she was good to go. So yeah, right. So um, so Derbyshire. Um, we've got a couple of places that we're going to do a paranormal investigation. Uh, I shan't tell you about those now, but uh, if you um, look at all the videos, they'll be posted separately. And then we're going to do a, a site tour tomorrow um, of this area. Until then, stay with us and uh, let's have fun. Right, the tent tour. Let's have a look. Start outside. We've got there with our, our flag that we had last time. Right, so we've got the cooking facilities here, um, a few extra storage spaces, a few extra storage spaces we can um, use on there. Like that. And washing facilities. And also we use this, this table because it's metal, we use it to stand the barbecue on. Home is where you pitch it, that's our new rug. Well, we had it last time, but um, lots of space here for food prep and whatnot. We've got the fridge underneath, lots of power. Uh, we've got a uh, fold up kettle here, a uh, little crock pot, which we're going to do uh, probably do a gammon in Sunday. We've got a toaster, and then we've got the, the camp kitchen storage unit. Lots of space for. And the most importantly, the beer and the booze. Got to have that priority. Yeah, and then we got this uh, little organizer pocket section, which we didn't get built into this tent as we had the other one. So we had to get this Van Gogh one separate there, which is big enough to fit your two first aid kits. This red one is for bites, stings, and allergies. And that includes a snake bite kit and a tick removing kit. We never know green one he's got all the basics of a first aid kit and then obviously a shoe section we've got some like white and things and then three spare at the top this section here is where we had uh, mitzi last year we had a, a little our own little pop-up tent and that in there um, so now obviously now we can use that as an extra space for storing our 
kitchen and things. Uh, obviously the partial blackout sleeping area. And then see on the side here, this tent here opens all up. Lots of planes flying over here. The nearest airport is um, East Midlands. They say the flap of the tent door opens up and you can have another porch. Which is very quite handy if you are in the shade and you want a couple of chairs here and a little table. It's very handy. Back of the tent's got ventilation as well, which is also quite handy. Um, we had a bit of a, an issue with the poles. Uh, we didn't realise that the, one of the poles was slightly longer to allow for the tension of the porch. Last last time we had we had one in there and it was quite floppy and whatnot. The back two poles are uh, one section shorter to allow that sort of dip, that sort of dip across the top there. Um, so that's why uh, we struggled with it last time because the tent wasn't exactly brand new when we got it. It should have been. Uh, didn't get didn't give us any instructions. So we've got a basic hook up. And there is not actually a hook up pocket zip thing where you can take it through. So I've actually a slight adjustment of this here. Cut a little section there and put the cable through. Um, it doesn't really do much, it's just like an event. It zips up on the other side so I might uh, make that a bit stronger. The uh, footprint it's slightly longer than it should be because normally it should only go up to that level but this is a high gear um, oak 4 one we'd use it's exactly the same width but slightly longer which is ideal for this bit here as an overlap so it's uh, pretty good pretty cool and uh, behind there where Don Don is is the toilet tent Hi. what's the verdict to the toilet tent Okay, it's hot though. Hot in there. Well, well that's why I left the vent open at the top. Yeah, so uh, as toilet goes, obviously toilet paper is the um, biodegradable one. We've got the pockets there to put the odds and ends in, put the bag, a little pocket down there to put your bits, and the toilet is the flushable toilet itself, which is the 20 litre one is a lot better than we had last time it was only 10 litre so yeah so that's the overall look at the highlander oak four which uh, we're quite happy with it it does the job plenty of room in here uh, quite spacious um, we did do a review of it on our last count stanton by dale which is also in derbyshire so if you've never been there check that one out um, don't forget to like share and subscribe put your little and that notification bell there and uh, and don't forget to watch all the videos um, coming up next is the uh, site review so uh, just sit back and uh, hope you enjoy right then let's do the uh, tour of the campsite so as I showed you yesterday all around it we'll do, do a full walk of the actual full site so, do a full view. First of all, this is the main route to where we are over there. <coughs> Shower and toilet block. Not too bad. These are the glamping cabins. And there as well. Over there is where you come in, it's the reception area. Got a nice lovely woodland at the side of us as well, which is pretty cool. There's the uh, fishing lake. I'll just take you around it. Morning. 
fishing position numbered as well, which is pretty cool. A bit of a marshy area here. You can always tell because it's got bulrushes. Yeah, it's got two little islands on. There's another one, number seven. See, we've got a um, caravan area around the outside as well, which is also cool. We're right next to the main road, the entrance into the site. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful pond. I love to see water. There's a guy fishing. Cafe there yep. and a washroom. The water's filtered as well. The, there's other fountains not on at the moment. That one there is over there, as you can see. That's the second lake. So you've got one to me to my left here, and then one to the right. This little boat there as well. Mm. So what you do is you come in through the entrance which is over there, you follow it up through here, up to the reception just there. Quite a big site actually, can you consider him? Uh, I've also got uh, neighbourhood ducks. Pretty cool. Some points is there. So we've got Calagas and that lot, which is sold here. Private lodge. This is the main office and reception. We sell the gas and things like that. A nice little play area for the kids, something for the kids to do. It's also good. And you've got this big, big mobile home as well, which you can, I think you can hire that out. Then you've got this creep shelter. A little cool shelter with uh, little picnic tables. And uh, yeah, it looks like those caravans over there have been here quite a long while, judging by the moss that's on the top of that awning. So we've got, that's the top end, that's where it ends up there, and then back to home base, and that's your tour, hope you enjoyed that, that's any, <coughs> any words, any, any words of your campsite? Yeah, it's nice, you like it? Mitzi's is messy. I know, I mentioned that at the beginning. Yeah, it's alright, yeah, I like the wood room. We've got a made a look. <laughs> yeah. And breakfast to uh, breakfast to start off the day. Yep. Got to fill you up. Yep. <laughs> so that's it. That's the tour of Springwood Fisheries in Derbyshire, which is uh, close to Melbourne. Uh, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. Until next time, goodbye.